Choke on? I'm not choking. Choke on? Choke off. Choke off. That's not good. Heading over to the guy's house. Actually, it's the same person I fixed the golf cart for that had the problem with the alternator generator. And the golf cart's been sitting over the winter and he says it won't start. So I'm gonna head over there, see what's wrong with it, see if we can get it going. You might run into this if your golf cart's been sitting and hopefully it'll help you. Let's go do it. All right, here we are. <laughs> Unfortunately, I think that's where that sits over the winter. Hopefully you keep yours in the garage. Uh, they broke the forward and reverse lever. Anyways, let's open it up and see if we can get it going. Well, there's a good sign. There's fuel in the filter. Check the air filter. Well, the filter doesn't look too bad. Take a little starting fluid, see if that'll get it to kick. Oh yeah. So that tells me it's just not getting fuel to the carburetor. Next thing I'm going to do is pull the fuel line off the carburetor and just see if the pump's pumping. Yeah, she's pumping. So that would mean we have gas. You got fuel going to the carburetor, but your problem might be in the carburetor. All right, we got fuel to the carburetor. And I think it's stopping right there because I spray starting fluid in there, and it will uh, it'll kick in. So let's take the carburetor off and check in the float bowl and see what we got. Pulling the fuel line off here. slide it forward and it pops out. Actually I'm going to take the float bowl off. I don't want to mess up that gasket there. Maybe I can just do this through the float bowl. That's not good. How about that? It's like a gel in there. That's what that old gas will do to you. The needle is moving in there. See if I can pump some gas through there. Look, look at it. So, in your float bowl. Yeah, that's not good. That'll clog that up, huh? That looks like uh, gel. Why don't you get some uh, paper towels? Um, that, that, that's, that's what happens when uh, you get old gas in there. And it just rots out. Yeah. yeah. That's been in there for only about 10 years. Or maybe just this winter. Now we got fuel coming into the bowl. That's good. It could have been just that gel in the bottom of the bowl. All right, let's take it apart and clean it up. First thing I'm going to do is take the float bowl off. And you're going to get some gas leaking out of there. Whoopsie. I saved some of it. Now let's see if we can get this main jet out. Again, I'm not at my shop. So I don't have my tools, but 
there's some tools around here. We'll try to make it work. The main jet's right down in here. This screwdriver's too big. See how these flare out here a little bit? So that won't go down in there. And this one's too narrow. Got to be real careful because this is brass and it'll break. And I don't want to break it. Get a pliers and see if I can get that pin out. Wow. Somebody must have worked on this before. That's really jammed in there. I'd like to get this pin out. The float just lifts up and then you get your needle valve out and you can clean all that out. I'd like to get the main jet out. It's down in there. I'm struggling to find the right screwdriver for that. Alright, I found one more screwdriver. Oh! Might have moved a little bit. Yep! She's coming out! How about that? Thank you, Lord! Now this is all fluted and we need to clean that out real good. That was probably sucking that gel all up in there. So we'll shoot some carb cleaner through that. And also through this one, that pin's bent. I've never seen something like that. I want to clean all these jets out. Make sure everything's clean. See those tiny little holes in there. And this is your fuel mix screw here. So I don't know where it's set, but what I do before I take this out is count how many turns out it is. So there's a half turn, you go cl clockwise turn it till it bottoms out. So there's a half turn, one turn, one and a half, usually factory set about one and a half, two, two and a half, three, three and a half, four, four and a half, five, five and a half. So now I can take it out and I can put it right back where it was. Five and a half turns. Just a little needle there and I'm going to blow that out with carb cleaner. And even though I can't get this needle out from the float, when the float's down, the bowl fills. So I'll leave that down. The fuel comes in here. I'll blow carb cleaner through there and hopefully that'll clean that out. I just don't want to break this and mess it all up and then you got nothing. Take a little twisty tie and I like to run them through all the holes in here sure it's all opened up.
Take two. Okay. I guess you'll have to choke it. I'm gonna choke it. You clean the carburetor, and I'm just gonna get in here and take it away, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> take the choke off. Choke off. Choke's off. No choke. Choke on. I'm not choking. Choke on. Choke off. Choke off. That's not good. We know we've got fuel going from the tank into the fuel pump pumping through the fuel pump into the carburetor. We clean the carburetor out and it'll run with starting fluid. The only thing left is there might be condensation, which means water, in the fuel tank. This is the fuel line coming out of the fuel pump. Goes to the carburetor. This is the fuel line coming from the bottom of the tank, the gas tank, and I can't film it, it's down in here. You can just follow this line all the way down. So what we're gonna do is disconnect this incoming fuel line into the fuel pump and drain off about a pint of fuel water from the bottom of the tank. If you get water from condensation in your fuel tank, it's gonna settle to the bottom and separate from the fuel. So what you're going to be doing is pulling water through and your engine's not going to run on water. So I'm going to drain that little bit off the bottom and see if that fixes our problem. All right, here we go. After all the cleaning, little adjustment, and here's our final try. Okay, hopefully this will get me to the pool this year. <laughs> okay. Hey, ho, ho, ho! All right. Well, that was a good lesson learned today. I really think the problem with that golf cart was water at the bottom of the fuel tank. The tank was almost full. Obviously, it picked up condensation over the winter with the hot, cold, hot, and cold in the southeast here. And it was really hard to get at the tank and the fuel line down at the bottom. We drained, I guess, about a pint off. But I really think that was the problem. And I hope that helps you. If you've got that condition, storage condition with your golf cart or whatever piece of equipment it is, you might want to drain a little fuel off, or in that case, water, before you try a lot of other things. If this video is a help to you, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing. And I look forward to helping you with other projects online.